Hi everyone, this is Jamela over at Viva La Vintage for your home. Thank you again for tuning in for another episode of Living the Lifestyle of the Thrift and Famous. Today's video is part two of how I saved thousands of dollars by thrifting my house into a home. So are you ready to see more savings? Well, let's get started. Today I'm going to start with two chairs that I scored for my son for his apartment. This green chair I got for $5. I bought some fabric for about $30 and had it reupholstered. The fabric was a very good price because I got it on sale when they were going out of business. So this is a very comfortable sitting chair for him to have in his guest bedroom and he enjoys having it. And for the cost of the upholstery of $100, it still came cheaper than this Target version for $300. Now this next chair I scored at a Goodwill for just $18. Now, guys, this was a Bernhardt chair and it was already um, in a nice silk fabric. It had just one flaw on the arm where it was worn out. But I still got it. So he had it in his room for a little while until it was time to give it a new look. Now, I love a wonderful makeover, but look at this chair now. It is absolutely fabulous. I almost hated to give it to him. <laughs> so here it is in his room. And just to let you know that Bernhardt chairs are not... Um, chairs that you can just go and buy you have to order them so they're roughly around twenty five hundred dollars now this next chair I got at a Goodwill for nineteen dollars and seventy five cents and with some fresh new fabric and a new upholstery this chair came in at under a hundred and fifty dollars and it provides great additional seating in his living room and it also blends with his furniture now let's just take a look at one that I found online and this one is selling for over $500 and for myself I found this buffet cabinet that matched my dining room set for $50 it just needed some TLC I cleaned up the wood touched up the black paint around it and here it is styled in my dining room and it holds all my bar accessories I was completely thrilled about this find because I really needed something to provide me extra storage space for all my china and bar accessories. Now this burl wood is absolutely gorgeous once I polished it up and you could see the beauty in all of the wood. Now this cabinet really is a gem because one recently sold online for $1,250. Also for my dining room, I found this wooden trolley cart for $40. I brought it home and cleaned it up and added some contact paper on the inside and gave it a whole new look. I love the fact that the top slides open and inside I hold all my napkins and napkin rings. So it's a small storage area for me as well. And it's also my plant stand. And you all know how much I love my plants. So this was a definite um, perfect addition that I found for my dining room. Now I did find one online similar. It was hard to find something to compare it with, but one that I saw online was running about $900. However, there are some that you can find in a range of about $200 to $300, but it doesn't have quite the storage that this one has. And now we're going to talk about my Art Deco cabinet that I found for $40 at a thrift store. I brought it home and cleaned it up and gave it a new look. And this is how it sits in my dining room and it holds all my vintage glassware. Now this was a definite find because these are running online somewhere in around the range of between $1,500 and $2,500. And peeking inside, you see my vintage glassware. I have a set of imperial glassware, culver glassware, and also bubble uh, crystal uh, wine glasses. For all my set of glasses, I paid less than $150. Now, online, there was a set of the Imperial Glass that just recently sold on first dibs for $750. The Culver Glass, you can find a set ranging from a price of about $200 up to about $500. In the Crystal Bubble Glass, I did find a set that was ranging about $36. So that's about a fair price because I paid only $18 for my set. So, but this is a good deal. And next up is my chandelier. 
Now I found this on the Facebook marketplace for $55 including shipping it came to $75. I added my own crystals that I had already so therefore this became a stunning showpiece in my dining room. The waterfall chandelier is truly a stunning piece and then during the day when the sun is shining in the crystals are all lit up and all you see is colors floating through the room. Now I did find similar ones online and they're ranging from $700 to $900 because they have the Murano teardrop crystals on them. Mine has glass crystals but I do like mine a lot better and for the price. So I hope you see the savings that I did in this video and it makes you want to go out and thrift your house into a home. Again, thank you for joining me on my part two series of how much I saved thrifting my house into a home. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and don't forget to share. And I'll see you in my next video. Happy hunting while you thrift your house into a home.